What's up, my arch of chaos? It's your king of the night, Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, and I'm here with another Final Fantasy VII segment. Since I've been feeling Final Fantasy VII for a while, I thought I should just make another video talking about Final Fantasy VII. So here's another one of the uh, popular subjects that usually gets bring brought up in inside a discussion, and this is one po a subject that gets brought up a whole lot. Was Sephiroth in control of Genova's action the whole time? And I'm going to tell you my theory. And why I think it's possible that it is. It is so. First of all, Genova says things that Sephiroth would normally say. If you pay attention to the phrases that she says. For one, the biggest you know catchphrase that Sephiroth would ever have in any Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts. You're a puppet, Cloud. You're a puppet cloud. You know, we'll see each other to the promised land. Because, first of all, Genova is silent. She only can use tell... Genova can only... For, for her to talk, she has to use telepathy to talk to people. She has to use telepathy to talk to people. She doesn't really say words out of her mouth. At all. Well, it's kind of hard when your head's detached from your body. But, nonetheless... You know, um... Two, Genova, all she really wanted was her pieces back. All she really wanted was to get pieces from Cloud, Sephiroth, Genesis, and Angeal. But Genesis and Angeal's long gone, so she just wanted Cloud's pieces and wanted, you know, um, Gen uh, what, what, uh, Sephiroth's pieces. But Sephiroth wanted to make this about him, so in order to make it about him... He disguised his dedication for his mother for his own narcissistic goals. And Sephiroth's narcissistic goals were to destroy the world with Meteor. Just like he thought Genova did 2,000 years. And yes, she has done that 2,000 years ago. Tried that at least. Attempted that. But the weapons defeated Genova. But, you know, Sephiroth wanted to make this about him. So, and because he wanted revenge about revenge for everything that's happened to him. So, and plus, Sephiroth has control of the life stream. You know, like I said about my Sephiroth clones video in Nibelheim, where people drink the water and they become Sephiroth clones? I think it's possible, it, since Genova's pieces, some of her pieces are inside the life stream as it is, he could control even her. Because the real Sephiroth was dead. The real Sephiroth has died. The only reason why he got bought back is because Sephiroth controlled Genova. To take control and possess Cloud. And because if you notice when Sephiroth comes back alive. You know after the Black Materia. After the Black Materia. After Sephiroth comes back alive after the Black Materia. Notice one thing. Sephiroth does not take control of Cloud's body anymore. So he's been using Genova to manipulate you know Cloud's mind because cloud has her cells in him and the fact that cloud stripe is a sephiroth clone at this point in time you know it's not impossible to say that it's not impossible to say that you know that sephiroth is controlling her plus the main villain is sephiroth you know yes you had to fight genova many times but I think, to be quite honest, she kind of gave up her goals of world domination and wanted just to have her pieces back so she could go back into space because she hates being on the Earth. You know, she hates it after everything that's happened to her by Shinra. She's had enough. She just wants to go back into space and go back to her original spot. But Sephiroth uses opportunity because, well, remember, Sephiroth thinks that's his real mother because that's where most of his cells comes from. And, he, and, and you know, he's not too wrong because Lucretia Crescent was only a conduit to birth Sephiroth because, well, since Sephiroth is still human, just with more Genova in him, you need a human to birth um someone like that just like how Angeal's mother was the conduit for Jan Angeal con you know Lucretia Crescent was the conduit for Sephiroth to be born but I guess it's not halfway wrong to believe that Genova is also Sephiroth's mother since that's where he gets most of his stuff that's where the silver hair and the green snake eyes really come from 
because if you look at Genova inside the tube, she has silver hair. Now she has red eyes. She doesn't have green eyes, but that's not the point. The point is, it, it's not too impossible that Sephiroth would take control of her just so he could feel like she would be on his side. And because Genova has uh, uh, the power, has enough power to turn to anybody, he, he could get people to trick people. And also, she could uh, Genova can also possess Cloud, and Cloud is needed to bring Sephiroth back, which that's what happened during the Black Materia arc, you know. And that's why he was being able to bring Bot back and do the things he wanted to do. Plus, Sephiroth has control of the life stream. He has control over the life stream. Which is a very scary thought. And this is why the things in Avid Children happened the way it did. Because Sephiroth used some of the life stream to, to uh, cut himself into three pieces. Without even him realizing he was doing it. And that made the remnants. Even though Sephiroth really never liked the remnants. You know, the remnants are the reason why Sephiroth was able to come back in the first place. You know. So it's not impossible. It's not impossible to think that, you know... Sephiroth is controlling Genova using via the live stream. And how strong Sephiroth is, he could survive in the live stream. There's a good reason why in Crisis Core he jumped in the live stream. He had a plan in the future. He planned something in the future. Knowing he got outclassed by Cloud the first time, he had a better plan than just having another head on assault with his Masamuni. Sephiroth wanted to become a god. That's why he went to the live stream, and that's why after you defeat Genova for the final time, he fused with Genova and become and became, you know, Bizarro Sephiroth and Safer Sephiroth. And Safer Sephiroth has the power to send the sun to you, which is a very unique power, as it is. But nonetheless, it's not too impossible to think that that he's controlling her because if it wasn't for these are the keys that made Sephiroth's plans possible. Genova controlling her mind. Cloud Strife, the man who fought Sephiroth and now has her cells within him. You and using that against using that against him to make him come back. That's why another reason why Cloud was also depressed too, because Cloud blamed himself for most of Sephiroth's successes because Sephiroth needed Cloud, Genova, the Lifestream, Avalanche, Shinra. All those pieces came together just like he planned after his defeat by Cloud in, in Nibelheim. So it's not impossible to think that he is. Yes, Genova is bad, but I don't think she's as bad as Sephiroth. Sephiroth is pure evil at this point in Final Fantasy VII. He's undial. Even Vincent has said that you should be sleeping, you know, in a casket just like Hojo should, because you know he's beyond evil at this point. So Sephiroth's malicious goals would cause him to control his own mother to do all the things he wanted to do. So tell me what you think about this theory. May the crystal be with you. Like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to comment and share. And may the crystal be with you. Don't forget to also check out my other stuff too.